Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So I'm here to do a reading for you all for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and stay connected with me spiritually so I can give you the most accurate reading. And also, if you guys are looking to give a rose arrangement as a gift to your lover, your family, or your friend, this would be a good gift where you can receive 20% off your order. The link to Rose Forever and the coupon code will be in the description box below. So this will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Okay, let's see what's going on in your current energy. What is it that you need to know? Let's see what's going on for Virgo. Someone's name is Miriam, Marianne, Maureen. Okay, so we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, nothing will come of this situation. Let's see here. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, or some of you may be going through like an interceptive energy. Yeah, there's something that you need to release here, okay? You need to purify your energy, your space. I would consider sage, palo santo, frankincense, myrrh, whatever you have here. Let's get one more card. So we have action, yeah. It's something that you need to do right now, okay? Because it's preventing you from living your life to your fullest potential. It's like you've almost put certain things that you want to do to the back burner. Yeah, there's like an interceptive energy. Let's see here. Someone's under taking a lot of medication. It's like someone could be self-medicating or be taking prescribed medication. It, it brings or takes someone out of focus okay someone's holding back on reaching out but it's like they have so much to uh, tell you talk about things of that nature we have daydreams and decisions so it looks like you're just really turned off or not channeling whatever it is that you want to do you want to say or the choices that you want to make at this time okay it's like you're wanting to start new things but it's like you're leaving them unattended to start something else so there's a lot of multitasking going on it's like why can't i do more than one thing i don't want to be a one trick pony someone here is just a multitasker here someone could also have adhd ADD we have base chakra in reverse so someone's worried about all the things all the essential things that anyone could be worried about okay with challenging times coming up okay you need to see yourself for who you are and bring out the light that shines within you to spread your wings here is what I'm getting What's going on with Virgo in regards to love? What's going on in regards to Virgo in love? Okay, so we have guided steps to great love. Dreams come true. And we also have rekindle. 
So let's look at this a little bit here. It looks like you guys are on the fence when it comes to opening up and being authentic or coming into your most authentic self because of some things that may have happened in the past that could be a, a, a trigger to you. Yeah, someone's going to need to take a leap into the unknown if they would like to, um, you know, go over to the adventurous side instead of always being stuck in fear. And this is where this guided steps to great love comes in. Just follow the path of ascension, okay? We also have dreams come true. So have faith that your rainbow will come shining through. Because I don't think that anyone, whoever this is pertaining to regarding Virgo, I don't think that a lot of you are putting much um, time and effort into uh, love right now. It's like you have other priorities that you're kind of seeking out here. But it looks like your ex wants to come back here because let's be honest, let's get real. This person misses cuddling and your scent. Okay? There's something about your scent that drives them crazy. All right? They think about you a lot at night. Let's see what your divine masculine feminine wants to tell you. What is it that your person needs you to know at this time? Sun, moon, Venus rising for the Virgos. Okay, so we need some space is what I'm seeing here. I escape when I feel too close to you. And the relationship is worth fighting for. So this person wants to take action when it comes to this. Okay? I know I cross your boundaries. So they know that they overdo it sometimes. But it's like they've never been given a cap on anything that they do. It's like the sky is the limit for them. It's like they've never been given any discipline or an earful for what they do. It's like people just go along with it. So this was different this time around. Let's see what other messages are gonna come up for you, Virgo. For Virgo. What's going on for Virgo here? So we have online stalking scare tactic. Someone could be going under false aliases names on your social media platform to just be able to see you or to keep up with you. We have ritual. So someone here is on medication, which is what I picked up on. Uh, someone is um, active in exercise, doing yoga, going to the gym, checking social media, uh, taking a walk, but someone does something like religiously every day. Or someone needs to stick to a schedule or what works for them. We have generous. Yeah, we have disabling comment section. So it looks like um, you may need to monitor your comment section because someone sees that you are a content creator and you have a big social media following here, okay? Or this is what you're working towards. We have DNA ancestry. So someone's wanting to understand where they come from, their heritage, so that they can kind of live by um, where they come from here, okay? We have fatal attraction. So someone could get a little crazy. Someone's going to be sending you a sexually explicit text message or this is something that you've already experienced or have um, found this could be a new person or there's a new person or love interest coming through we have six feet tall so someone could be tall six foot here as well let's see here what else is here for my Virgos? 
give the Virgos the most accurate reading for this moment in time. Virgos, just know that this reading could resonate for you in the past, present, or in the near future. I just got June 13th. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be significant to someone here. But someone loves the friendship that they have with a particular person. This person is the right candidate to go out with. They, you feel safe around this person. But this person is not a twin flame. Okay? It could be the wrong timing. Some of you need to keep going on this journey for what your soul purpose is or who your person might be. There's a new person coming around the corner. This could be it. This is where you tie the knot and you get to live that happy life that you've always wanted. Okay, with this new person. So don't subject yourself to this convenient old connection just because it feels familiar. Okay, but th that person is coming forward. They can't hold things off anymore. We have toxicity, negative energy, manipulation, narcissist, okay? Don't let this person get too much up in your head because you're going to be the one left out in the cold, okay? And if you want to see our positive changes, you need to make the change, okay? That's just real shit. Someone's name is Sunny, S-O-N-N-Y. Give me some more for Virgo's energy. Okay, so we have reconciliation. And right under rekindle, we have reconciliation. I think it's very evident that you're having issues closing out this cycle it's like it's harder than usual yeah so this person is coming back from the past wanting to start fresh they're trying to get their finances uh in check because there is a female that they've dealt with or is dealing with currently that's pregnant but i don't think this is somebody that they feel as their life partner. Yeah, this person is coming in very soon to come back towards you with some type of offer. All right, any other messages for Virgo? What are the messages for Virgo? And lately these messages have been coming out so this person feels very strongly about you, okay? Yep, this person misses you a lot. And they could either have options or you do, okay? One of these options is the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they could be dealing with the Earth sign here. I'm really feeling like it's a Taurus. Yeah, this person was very tempting but not what this person needs or wants. So someone's trying to figure out what their priorities are and how they're gonna move to allow these, these things that they want. How is that going to work? How is that going to happen before coming towards you? What's up for Virgo? What's, what is up? like something's going to be an eye opener for you yeah we have heart so love deep affection and caring we have pay attention to your health okay and we have table hard work ahead 
there's an opportunity or windfall in the month of December. Remember I did say June 13th, I got July here. So there's an opportunity that um, during the period between December and July could be taking you out of these obstacles that you have faced. Okay? I think that you're going to be letting something go in love or in business. Something is under construction. Yeah, we have adjudication of the child. So someone could be in court for child support or uh, custodial rights, visitation for a child here. So we have change in reverse. There is no change. Someone doesn't feel like they need to make any necessary changes. doesn't feel like they need to make any necessary changes or are concerned when it comes to a decision that's being made by the judge because they're in a positive headspace we have thoughts so someone thinks about having a child with you courting with you or thinking about how this child that they have, is it going to be a fit for you and this person in their life? Someone's not concerned about the person that they were dealing with, the, the child's mother or father, but rather how you're going to fit into their life or vice versa. So we have a thief. Someone here is trying to take something away that you were expecting to come through. Okay? Someone wants, wants to rob you of the opportunity to be the privileged lady because they see that a path is opening up for you. Main female. Whoever this is, it's a mature woman. So it's a mother figure. Someone's coming after your finances. This could be someone from your family. Or this could be a friend here. I'm hearing do not trust anybody. Someone's coming after your livelihood. What you've worked so hard for. Someone wants it to be a challenging time for you. Yeah. For some of you, if you've been looking for a job, it's been hard or someone's been laid off, but someone's still trying to remain positive through this. And guess what? You will be granted sudden wealth, okay? By a mature man. This could be a boss here. Some of you may be getting a raise. So all you have been worrying over nothing. Get out of this mental conflict because I did see imprisonment in reverse. In terms of the, the court system, someone here is going to be getting a payout that could impact their life in a good way. Yeah, we have community. So some of you, I'm getting here that you're well respected in the community. I think that uh, whenever you need a helping hand, there are people that you can call on, but it's like you were disrespected by an ex-lover, friend, family member, or something in front of people that know you here, okay? I feel like people in the community know about your situation with this person from the past or know about their situation because I'm also getting marriage in reverse. So there is a lot of gossip in a community where 
they know you mutually, the two of you, and they know about this other lover that your ex person is now disengaging with or getting a divorce from. They're losing everything. They have no place to stay. All right. say goodbye and open up your energies to something else because you will be in a world of trouble and anguish if you keep denying what you already know and staying comfortable with something that you know is not working here to the sea someone could be 40 years old or just under 40 so someone could be in their early 30s to mid 30s here What else do we have for Virgo, please? What's their current energy? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Okay, so what we have here is number nine, Treasure Island. So I believe someone loves you or you love them. Someone's starting to open up their heart chakra. I feel like you're, you're happy or feeling content about not having to put so much pressure on something that may have been conflicting to you because you're true to yourself. Truth be told. I just heard Lego in Chris Brown voice, Lego. here what do we have for our lovely virgos so we have new life something is definitely transforming here number 39 so either you're closing out a cycle or you're beginning something new which we have new life here if someone's trying to cause issues or uh, around some type of truth and wanting to revisit something from the past Other messages for Virgo, extra messages for Virgo, extra messages for Virgo, please. Yeah, chaos and conflict is coming out. Someone's stable situation, it's like someone's trying to cause some issues, or there's issues around your stability here, especially when it comes to relationships. Someone could be two years older than the person that they're interested in or um, that they separated from. Someone's having issues opening up or feeling comfortable with letting go of someone from the past. Okay? Truth be told. relaxation so some of you are finding yourself if you're at home it's like you're trying to take time out to do something for yourself something very quiet though someone's trying to disturb your peace let's see compromised someone's trying to take you out of your element where you feel at peace here to gain something yeah, because we have compromise again at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they want you to gain 
some type of understanding of where they're at and they want you to be on board with it. Okay. What else for Virgo? For Virgo. So yeah. We have pride. So you're so sure of yourself that you're ready to take all of this action to face those challenging times that you are going through. Whether or not your family is there to give you that support that you need, you're pretending or setting up this brave face that everything is fine when it's not. It's like everything that you hoped and wished for is like gone to you. And even though you had to let certain things go in your life, you still have a right to feel the way that you feel. zombie tarot deck I haven't used this in a while but I love the illustrations and the story that it tells so let's see what comes out here what's in here for Virgo so we have ace of hazards so I see things changing. This is like the Ace of Pentacles type of energy. I see here that someone's going to be um, getting bedazzled, like buying jewelry, you know, playing in, you know, what makes them feel beautiful or more feminine, masculine, whatever it is here. Someone also could be very materialistic as well. We have 10 of wands. So the energy that I also see here is the fire energy. So there's some type of heavy weight that's on you or a person that's in your energy. There's something that's weighing you down. And I feel like it's, it's upkeeping, you know, all of these different emotions that you feel when you're really feeling hurt, okay, let down. And not only by this person, but people that you thought were going to be in your life for the long run. Okay, and this stems from childhood, for some of you is what I'm hearing. It's like so many things have been put in your way in order for you to have obstacles when you should have received the opposite. Okay. here for Virgo. For Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know currently? Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So what I think Spirit is trying to tell you is this is not the type of relationship that you want to have, especially if you're looking for something that's positive, uplifting, and filled with love. Because what's on this card here is everything that you don't want to happen, where you're constantly in fear, anguish, envy, hate, all these things, all right? You want a relationship where you get an equal 50-50 that's being put in to complete this union, all right? And whatever you had that you're needing to take action to get rid of or to release, it's like it, it's, I'm hearing the word summon, 
It's like it's it's inviting you, sucking you in instead of you pushing away from it. So you're almost tempted here. Two of Wands in reverse as well. So something has become very perplexed or complex, very complicated here. And I think that it's 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 upsetting you. It's upsetting you to know that your truth is that you have to step away from this. If someone's hurt, that there's so much delay, conflict. What's this two of wands here? What's this two of wands? Why is this in reverse? So we have the page of swords. Someone needs to face their truth, needs to be honest with themselves, okay? Because I think that for some of you, it's like you're trying to psych yourself out from dealing with this instead of kind of facing things head on, all right? But I'm hearing that you're ready for anything. You dare a motherfucker to try you, all right? That's the truth. I'm hearing that song by Gage Loaf. Try me. What's this Knight of Swords? Someone thinks that they can try to get into an argument and overtake or bully you. Okay? Or you have no control of a situation. But you're like, bitch, if you don't get the fuck out of my face, I'm ready. What you want right now? What's this Knight of Swords in reverse? We have the Nine of Cups. And then we have the King of Wands in reverse. So with this Nine of Cups here, I think... I think that you're going through a stage where... You feel like the like there's so much shame victimization. It's like you feel responsible when you shouldn't be taking all of the blame, but it's like you're left with yourself. So you're just drowning in what part you played in a situation or vice versa. This is what your person feels. All right. I'm also getting here that you no longer have any desires to fulfill this with this person you're a new change virgo okay and you're realizing the toxicities that this person brought to the situation with all these lies cheating scheming and that's why you'd rather be by yourself here Let's see what the situation is, what's going on here. What's Virgo dealing with currently? Okay, so there is going to be a change in your living situation. Someone here wants to make up. We have the morning after. So you could be doing something that impacts what happens the next day. Tap into your synchronicities, your empathic background, and trust in the divine. Some of you could be seeing 11-11, uh, 10 someone's having an epiphany moment 
but is completely unbothered. Okay? Someone here doesn't want to give up on you or this relationship. They'd rather struggle through this because they want better for the both of you. Okay? So that's what I have here for your current messages. Virgo, hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.